Okay, I said that I was going to show you my sort of LED light setup once I had that battery charged. So basically I did a charge on that battery and as you can see it worked out to be uh, 11, 1192 milliamp hours. You know, which isn't much, but it's better than throwing it in the dustbin, that's for sure. So, so we're going to use this resurrected, um, battery and I'm just going to show some, see what I basically did on it is I made sure to solder some leads onto the two wires and I made sure to put the heat shrink on it because that's important so that the, those contacts don't move because they're very fragile. So that's why I've put the cellar tape around it to hold them in place. Because the one thing you don't want is for when you're moving the cable, you know, you know putting, taking things in and out, those contacts, because they're so thin, you don't want them moving around or they eventually break off and, well, then you'd have wasted your time. Right, so this is the DIY LED. So those are the big bright LEDs and um, it's the reason why I want to make this modular is because I've actually ordered some more LEDs and I want to come up with a way of attaching them to the side because basically this LED panel has got some magnets on the back of it and the basically this um, this is the actual sort of um, column that the LEDs go onto and then the power supply attaches to the bottom of it and you notice that I've used magnets so that basically I can like assemble it and put it together and you can see all the um, CCTV like plugs and socket power sockets so that I can switch the batteries out because basically I've got this old Pandora battery which is doing well and some 18650 cases which also have the plugs on the end so basically it's modular so I can switch the power around as I need it so it's not just a set Chinese system where you have to buy their battery etc you can just put any old thing in and then this is the switching the so it's got switch mode power supply in it and the PWM controller that I you know, programmed with just a little program and to provide the PWM alright so now I'll just put it together and then we'll see see how this runs Okay, so there you have it assembled. So the LEDs attached to the top of the column, the power connected to it, and from the controller, and then the you can see the battery there. Um, it's, I'll use some Velcro to hold it onto the top of the PSU, and so so basically uh, when you when you pick it up. It, it basically stays attached to the back and and so basically this let's give it a test so I'm turn it on all right so you so you just flash this well that flash is just some I don't know, just a little bug I put in the code, but it's a good way of indicating when it's turned on. So I've just left it in. And so now if I turn the, the, the um, turn up the level, so I've just got to get to the knob. And it's a bit bright. So that's, that's the minimum brightness. And then what happens, I can turn it up. As you can see, it gets a bit mad. And so there I have the sort of, so the bottom can, setting is off. And I have the old LED, sort of PWM controller, so I can adjust it. And the reason why I came up with this is because I've seen people at Speaker's Corner with their lamps, and I'm sure they pay decent money for those lamps, but the rubbish thing about them is that you don't seem to be able to control the light level in a, in a steady way so people get blinded when you turn it on so that's what made me come up with this uh, controller and then just make trying to make it as portable as possible and modular so i can put it in my bag as well 
Now I dare anyone to find something like this in the shops and this is what you find happens is that you really do have to DIY sometimes because the shops just want to take your money for rubbish whereas to buy something proper which is custom will cost you much so sometimes you just have to make it yourself okay so like and subscribe if you want me to try and produce anything more videos like this okay see you